Alrighty, just about time to get out of here and head home. But before I do, I thought I'd make a quick video uh, on some of the accessories that I use personally on my combination machine. Uh, I thought of doing this because I got a new one uh, today and that's this table extension, this one meter long uh, anodized aluminum or aluminum um, table extension. Uh, I would typically have the cast iron one here or one of the two cast iron ones that I've got um, and that works great. It's a little on the short side sometimes if I'm ripping really long materials but um, that shorter one, of course, with the old machine didn't stick out any further than the, uh, where the, the slider finished. Now with the longer slider, 10 foot six slider, um, obviously it hangs out this end of the, the machine much more. And that gave me the, uh, opportunity to, to use this aluminum, um, extension uh without it sort of going past the the um end of the table and of course it's going to give me that much more support for both ripping material on the saw but also of course um on the outfeed side of the um shaper so super happy with that uh, but i thought i'd also like show you all the other bits and pieces things like uh um this uh short sort of support table part thing I don't know, actually know what it's called um, and this goes on to the uh, clamps onto the slider itself um, used typically say in conjunction with this short um, uh, fence cross cut fence the cross cut fence itself yeah I don't use that often. I certainly do from time to time where I set up and I've got a lot of small parts or whatever. Um, and it's easier than moving the, the big uh, cross cut fence back. Um, and sometimes on the shaper, when I'm doing some things on the shaper, I'll find use for, for this. But typically I stick with the, uh, with the main um, cross cut um, outrigger for most of my cross cutting. So um, useful, but I don't use it that often. So this part though, super handy. It's really, really good support for when I'm cutting sheet goods and stuff on the slider. Uh, I definitely wouldn't be without that, um, without a doubt. So um, I've spoken about this one before in other videos, the uh, short um, fence for the for the rip fence. Um, that for all my ripping of of uh, hardwoods and softwoods and stuff, um, that I use all the time. This is something new to me. This is a, a genuine Felder uh, um, rip shoe or whatever. Um, so this basically just goes on the end of the slider and then you push your board up to it and it sort of holds the board, end of the board in place and you can make a straight line cut on a, on a rough sawn board or a board that's you know, maybe not um, straight line ripped. So that uh, for me is, is a, you know, way faster option. I'm typically doing a lot more uh, than one board, so I'm not going to muck around clamping things down at both ends of the table just to make a straight rip. That works perfectly for that. I just put the board in that end and hold this end um, of the board in place with my hands, run it through with the slider, done. Super easy. Um, what else? The uh, Another super, super handy uh, accessory, one that I definitely wouldn't be without. And like I said, if I, before I had this, and if I didn't have that, I definitely have this on the outfeed side of the, um, of the shaper at all times, because it is like an extension 
for uh, when I'm ripping stuff and obviously on the outfeed of the, the shaper. But now that I've got this, um, both of my shorter um, table extensions will be used on the, um, on the jointer, so, or the planer if you want to call it that. Um, so when I'm doing longer uh, material, uh, certainly by hand, then I'll pop those on and that extends the bed out to just over 2.6 meters in length. So, you know, 1300 and something millimeters or uh, what's that? Uh, 52 inches roughly um, either side of the, the cutter head. So super handy. Um, and uh, definitely something I wouldn't be without. So uh, what else have we got to talk about? I, when I ordered the machine, I actually did, um, I got the, the bigger outrigger with two flip stops. Uh, I think two flip stops is, is ideal. Uh, I've actually got three because I've got an extra one from my old machine that I had uh, that I'm going to keep um, that I actually added a um, digital readout to. It's really basic. There's no fine adjustment to it. So you have to sort of mess around, get it exactly where you want it. And, you know, most of the time you really don't have to be accurate to within 0.1 of a millimeter, but that's how accurate you can be. And it is repeatable. So it's really pretty nice in that regard. It was just a cheap uh, eBay DRO that I uh, sort of made work with the, the uh, Felder flip stops. So that's really cool. Um, another uh, accessory that I got, um, and I got this one when I bought the machine is the um, the safety bars for the for the um, shape offense and I am enjoying using those um, they are a little bit fiddly uh, but definitely a good um, thing to have for the safety uh, for you know, being safe in the, when you're using the shaper uh, I do have another video actually of, of uh, the idea that I came up with for, for making a, a uh, um, sacrificial fence with that system and that's actually worked out quite well. So I should do a video of actually using that fence. But anyway, that's another good one. And one last thing uh, that I can show you is this mobile cart here um, for the outrigger. Um, unfortunately, my workshop is really quite small. Well, it's certainly very narrow and, and uh, there are times quite often that I need to get rid of the outrigger. And with this new machine, especially the outrigger is substantially bigger and heavier and more awkward to do, um, uh, to, to take off and, and put back on. So, so this mobile cart, means that I can actually take it on and off and do it safely. I'm not going to hurt myself. I'm not going to damage the equipment. And uh, yeah, it only takes a, a couple of minutes to do it. And then the whole thing flips up, stands sort of vertically and takes up very, very little um, floor space. So I'm really, really happy to, to have uh, finally gotten that and uh, be able to sort of get rid of the... the um, the outrigger, excuse me, get rid of the outrigger when I need to, to move stuff through here in and out, which uh, um, is fairly often. So anyway, I think that's it. I do have um, some other accessories coming. Uh, I The old machine, I had a uh, parallel sort of fence set up. Uh, that I'd made. Little hokey, but it worked and it did the job. On this, I thought, you know what, like uh, I've got a, a nice big slider I'll splurge on, on uh, 
on the uh, proper parallel fence. And so I do look forward to getting that. It's still in production and, and could still be weeks away. So um, when I do get that, I'll, uh, I'll maybe do a little video on that and give you my thoughts on that as well. So uh, what else is there? That's, I think, pretty much it. So anyway, if you, uh, the other accessory, I guess, that doesn't come with the machine that I think is a must have if you're really gonna be doing any serious work on the shaper or spindle molder is the uh, power feeder. And, and I would only ever get that now with, now that I've experienced it, I'd only ever get that with the um, tilt-away bracket that has the gas strut so that it assists you. So uh, without that, it's super heavy. So uh, yeah, so power feeder, must have as well. So yeah, um, if you have any questions about any of the accessories for these machines, uh, let me know in the comments below, comments below. And, uh, and also if you think of something that I could really use to, to help my productivity on this machine, uh, again, uh, pop it in the comments below and, and uh, let me know your thoughts. So anyway, don't forget to hit uh, like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you next video. Thank you.